smash or pass. Validation or incideration. That's a word. I made it up. Hello, everybody. My name is Primacon, and welcome to Hollow Knight Silk Song Smash or Pass Edition, where we're gonna judge every single NPC character so far revealed for Silk Song. This is not at all an excuse for me to go over and talk about all the NPCs that we have been revealed. Not at all. Primacon would never do that. And before you say it, I am not ripping off Miles Nugget, okay? I understand Miles Nugget made a Smash or Pass for Hollow Knight. I'm not ripping him at all. So before you go down in the comment sections and type Primacon as a piece of shit, shut the fuck completely original content. Now before we jump into it and smash and pass these bitches, I want you to go down there and smash that subscribe button. Seriously though, I would I would really appreciate it. One one like, one little like, and one little subscribe. It goes a long way. It really helps. Or he will come for you. He will find you. He's Feral. Anyway, let's see what we got. Starting off strong with Grindle. Grindle is my so- Wait. Grindle is my bro, my homie. Grindle is an upcoming NPC teased by Matthew, aka Let, aka Hitman, Hollow Knight Assassin Griffin. Let's see what Grindle has to say to us. Haha, <laughs> free at last. Locked up in here much long we was. So clearly, first pointer is bro can't speak English. Bro can't grammar for shit. Nice place to have a poor little snitch bug. Bro likes to get in dirty. You're smelling, huh? Fancy though. Okay, so he likes to sniff. Bet you got some nice shines hidden in that cloak. Okay, okay, calm down. Keep it in your pants, keep it in your bag. Jesus Christ, first NPC already off to fucking great horny start. So Grindle, smash or pass? To be honest, hard pass. Hard pass pass but something tells me it doesn't really matter what i give him because he would want to smash anyway next up we have sharma i fucking hate this piece of shit i have such a hunch that we're gonna have to babysit her all game is it a her oh it's a he according to the wiki either way we're gonna have to parade him around all of farloom babysitting him every step of the way source Trust me, brother. So I already am pretty sus about it, but let's see what Sharma's all about. So Sharma likes to cry about things, and Sharma likes to rest. Sharma just like me for real, though, if you think about it. Looks like he stole the bell of one of those bells people. He's using it as a cap instead of as a shield. Maybe if you use it as a shield, you wouldn't need my help all game. Have you thought about that? Did you do your taxes? I don't know, bro, looking kind of sus, if you ask me. Verdict says, hard pass. Absolute load pass. Sherma is kind of cute though. They have a cute little round face, so I'll give them that. Next up, we got Chakra, aka Better Cornifer. Long gone are the days of little old Corny singing his little fucking music tune. Oh, you come to buy a map? Please support my business. I neglect my wife to live a happy life. That's all me, baby. No. Chakra is the GOAT. The OG. I feel like we're gonna have to fight her to get our map. We'll have to earn it in Farloom. We gotta earn that bread. Let's see what Chakra has to say. Fierce and intimidating. Chakra is a warrior seeking her master. Wait a minute. Vanished under strange circumstances. Chakra's clan are skilled fighters who can handle their own in the kingdom's wilds. Usefully for Hornet, each member of the clan also has a craft skill. And Chakra's mastery of cartography will prove invaluable on Hornet's adventure. Wait, what? I had no idea about the craft skill. What does that mean? Each member of the clan also has a craft skill? So are we gonna meet more of Chakra's gang? Her... Homies, they're gonna teach us how to build some tools. You know what? I like your fit chakra. I like your drip I like what you're all about. I like that you're a better version of conifer more engaging for map making Which is a theme with silk song that every feature they took from Hollow Knight and they're making it bigger and better and more Bombastic. I like that about you with all that being said and considered verdict says pass Oh next up we have Trubio! I love this guy. He has such a fucking fun energy about him. We have only seen him a little bit in one of the trailers where he pops out and he goes, 
Trubio! I, I love that. I love that so much. Master of the stage, the brush and the voice. The flamboyant butterfly Trobio seeks fame and adoration through Farloom. Hey, just like me! Twink! Oh my god! Trobio spreading his wings! Wait a minute. <coughs> so yeah, one of my most anticipated bosses. I think Trobio is my second most anticipated boss coming to Silk Song only being topped by the Ant Queen herself. Because I don't know why that Ant Queen fight reminds me of Grimm. It looks like a mixture of Grimm and Hornet. I don't know why I think that. It's just a gut feeling and I'm very, really excited about it. And just look at this guy. Look at his eyes. I mean, I, you know what in my head canon is? That's not his eyes. Those are some sick shades that bro got. Look at his shade. Look at his cape. Look at his swagger. Hard smash. Hard smash. Easy smash. Smash. Smash is fucking face in. Oh, he's even making a little heart with his antennas. That's kind of cute. I like that. Oh, next up we have the Force Daughter. Bro, Force Daughter is about to flex her guns all over. It doesn't matter if you want to smash or pass. Force Daughter will smash you with her fucking hammer. She'll smash you into a better player. She'll smash you into a stronger player. Nothing but respect for Force Daughter on my part. My girlfriend's calling me, I gotta explain this video to her, wait a minute. <clears throat> Where were we? She's a hulking being! And much like the rest of the inhabitants of Deep Rocks, seems to be comprised of bells and balls. A simple sleigh bell for her head and a large church bell making up her body. Forge Daughter also appears to refer to herself as the Royal V. You know, not only strong but also rich. Think about that people. Though the reason is currently unknown. There's no unknown in that. Forge, just Forge Daughter. What do you mean? What do you mean? Reason is currently unknown. Clearly, she is royalty. But honestly, she scares me a little bit. There's just too much power and money for my liking. Hard pass. Hard pass. Next. Let's go, Hunter Queen. Carmelita. That's my most anticipated boss fight in all of Silk Song from everything we've seen so far. Yeah, Lace is cool and all, yeah, Lace, everybody like, everybody likes Lace. That's nothing special, you fucking sheep. Oh, you like Lace, yeah? How unique. I am a very unique person with a very unique taste. And clearly no one else likes Queen Camelita other than me. You know, I don't know. Her moveset looks really cool. I really like the ant colony aspect of Silk Song. We haven't seen much of it, unfortunately, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. Let's see what they have to say about the Queen. For Silk Song, backer content is again seamlessly integrated into the main game. Get ready to dance with operatic queens, battles mysterious assassins, and soaring warlord's tower. One of her moves can be seen where she leaps over Hornet, lands and creates spikes, jabbing out of the ground from her point of landing. She also twirls with her two held blades after landing. Very, very cool. Really, really looking forward to this NPC. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, Primacon really loves this character. This is gonna be an easy smash, right? Wrong. What do you think of me, some simp? I only simp for Moss Bag. Hard pass. Hard pass. Next, we have everyone's fan favorite, Hollow Knight artistic community's favorite character, Lace. Let's see what we have to say about Lace. A little fencer wielding a gilded pin, the traditional weapon of Farlu. Lace is a dangerous foe, cloaked in mystery, who delight at causing Hornet's swift, skewed demise. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Lace comes and offers you a death, and then she gaslights you into thinking that she's doing you a favor. Lace is a manipulative gaslight. Exposed for who you truly are. Not only does she want to kill you, she wants to make you believe that she's doing you a favor. This is some Xbox level gaslighting, Lace. Not a big fan. Not a big fan at all. I don't know. Everything is sus about Lace. Don't trust, don't care. Hard pass. Primacon will never sim. Smash! Smash! smash. Look at the pose! Look at the power! Look at the presence! Look at the eyes! This guy's basically me in the morning. This guy's me right now. I love the last judge. I love his whole guild. Protector guild that are trying to protect a vault of secrets. A lot of mystery around him. He reminds me of Charizard from Pokemon. But he's a fire breathing looking motherfucker. We don't really know much about him. But I feel like this is going to be one of those boss fights that gives a lot of people a lot of trouble. Really, really looking forward to it. It also seems like this is going to be a late game boss. At least that's my speculation. And last but not least, Huntress. She will steal your organs and feed it to her children. What's wrong with the NPCs in this game? We're lucky they're not doing a smasher pass on us because Jesus Christ, none of us will survive. Spider? 
Your stench is strong, yet similar. Have you come bearing the organs of others, or would you offer your own? Warm inside a sweet feast for my broods. <gasps> Birth meal? Yeah, do I really need to say more? Hide yourself. Hi to your children, stay safe out there. I'm going to smash Huntress for being a weirdo, just like you're going to smash that like button for still believing in Silk Song being real. That's it from Papa Primacon. I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.